I am back guys, it's Reflex, what is up? Today I will be bringing you another video for strats and spots, and this time we are going to be doing Infection, interesting map, definitely confusing, look at this, if, if any of y'all haven't seen this yet, check this out, look at this, look, this has no strats or spots to do with, but look at this stuff, what in the hell, alright, anyway, Back to the main topic of the video. Um, so strats and spots for this map. I'm going to be showing you guys all sorts of different spots and stuff you can do on this map. This is probably uh, one of the more strategic maps it takes to play. Um, with this map you can do so many cool things in my opinion. Um, but say you're starting off on offense right here. You've got the bomb or your teammate's got the bomb, whatever. Check out this little tank right here. Alright, you can hop up on this tank and you see the church. If you have a sniper, I actually should have switched to my M8 sniper so I can show you guys. But if you uh, aim in or if you have an AR or something, get on top of this. And you can see the window right there. That's that's just a little strategic point that I've, I've used a couple times. Um, you can do it in dubs, whatever, singles. But uh, if you feel like they're going to go top uh, church, jump up here. And you can pick them right out of that window right there if your shot is quick enough. Um, that's like That's a really hard shot to hit. It's probably easier with a sniper, if anything. You probably, I don't know if you can like, do it out of this window. You can do it out of the window right here, but that's like the most predictable stuff in the world. Uh, I don't know if you can do it out of this window. Yeah, I don't think. Oh, wait, can you? Yeah, you can't see. You can't like crawl out the way. Yeah, you can. You can do that, but anyway, that's a cool little spot. Uh, I've used that. It's, it, it's, it's pretty good. Alright guys, next for uh, A-Bomb, I've got a couple uh, tips for this map. This is probably one of more mo mo my, yeah, probably my more favorite bomb on this map. B is okay, uh, it's not the greatest, um, but in my opinion A is better. But say you're starting out on defense, you're, at, you're over here, you start out on defense. Um, I've done this in singles a lot, it's worked pretty well, but if you feel like they're going to go A, rush up as fast as possible, maybe slide around corners and stuff. Get to A as quick as possible. Get your teammates to watch mid or your teammates to watch B side. And check this out. Just chill here right next to this brick wall. Uh, there's a good chance you get you will get prone blocked. So try try not to get prone blocked as best as possible. And uh, if if you just chill here, you can let them w literally just run right past you. They'll look around. They'll look at the head glitch. They'll look at the window. Maybe check the corner a little bit like this. And then they'll just run right through bomb. And you can just easily just pick them up. I've used that spot numerous times, and that strategy works very, very well. This next spot I'm going to be showing you is uh, an AR defensive spot. I've seen this uh, on another channel. I actually saw this on Semsker's channel, um, and I will show you right here. Uh, it's easier to do with an uh, with a M8, um, but you pretty much you can come up right here. This has actually become a very known spot now. Um, I noticed a lot of people have been doing it lately, so there are um, spots and strats going all around the places so I'm not taking um, I'm not taking full credit for all of these spots I'm not saying they're mine I'm just showing you different ones I've seen used against me and different ones I've can't come up with but this one I did not come up with but uh, it's very creative uh, if you if you uh, ever have anybody coming out of here most people either sit here in head glitch or they sit in the window um, this spot is insane check this out right there and you can look right through this hole and just shoot right through this hole right through them. Obviously you don't want a VMP to do this, I'm just using this for example purposes, but you're going to want like an M8 or a Shiva something, and just easily pick them up right through there. The chances of them ever coming around from this angle and shooting right there, actually now are probably higher because people know about this spot, but uh, the, the most thing they, they're probably going to do, um, if they do know that spot, they'll just come around here and quickly nade it, but you're gonna have such an easy chance to kill them. This next spot is actually a bomb plant spot I will show you. Um, what you're gonna have to do here is pretty much get bombed down on the farthest corner of infection, or on A, sorry. Get bombed down on the farthest corner, and you can either run straight through the middle, which is kind of risky, or you can run around all the way around the outside that way, or you can go like this, and just come right through this building right here. Now this is one of the more known spots, people use this more at the beginning of the game, 
and you can just do this this number right here and you can chill back you can even go like this you can lay down right here by the fountain pop up and check it it doesn't really matter it's all up to you you can use any of these little areas over here you can maybe even sit next to this wall this is more predictable but if you know they're diffusing just pop around the corner and pick them up really easy this next strat I'm going to show you is actually a defensive side so say you're coming up on defense and you made your team's pushing mid, some's going A, but they're like, hey, can you watch B? This is a probably one of the best spots ever to watch Top Rock right here. Um, so the other teams on offense, they're pushing up as fast as possible. They want to get control of B as soon as possible. And this is a huge power spot. On top of this rock is a huge power spot. If they have a good AR shot, they're going to put him up there. Um, so he's probably going to come up there and peek around. Use this little rock right here. Check out this rock. I've used this numerous of times. They never see you, I promise. It, if, if anybody watches this video and they finally find out about this spot, people might start using it. But I, as of I know, as from what I know, I am the only one that has ever used this spot. But pretty much you're on defense. Rush up here as fast as possible. Chill out right next to this rock. Right here. And you can just watch if they come around this rock and if they come around this corner right here. And they pretty much can't see you from here. From this, from that distance, I'll show you what it looks like, kind of. Obviously, I'm not going to have anybody else over there. But they, they never see you. You come right around here, and all they see is just a little bump right there. So they can't see you. They come around this corner. They look at this head glitch. This is the first thing they look for. They just look right there. They don't ever look right next to that rock. They just come around here, they look down here, looking for a rush. They don't expect somebody to be sitting right there. Like I said, I've used that spot so many times, it works amazing. This next one is a bomb plant spot. This is the, one of the more common bomb plants. Get B down, and you can come right around here, or the other side, it really doesn't matter. Get up on top rock, whoop, that was close. Get up on top rock, watch the sides. I really wouldn't recommend this spot. It works at times, it doesn't work all the time. Um, but this is definitely is a power spot. Uh, you just have to be able to know how to watch both sides and periodically just come around this corner and just peek at bomb very easily. Very simple spot. Uh, it works. It works pretty well. This next one is actually a, uh, um, a spot you can watch uh, if they're pushing up on defense. If you're on offense and you want to be able to watch top rock, come right around here. This, you got to be careful here because this is kind of risky. So you want to come right through here and Use your thrust jump and get up on top of here. And you can chill right next to this bush right here. I've used this once or twice. It works pretty well. You can chill right next to this bush and see if they push on top rock uh, from the defensive side. The other floating rock uh, spot that I've used is also, uh, say you're playing threes or doubles, um, and your teammate is watching, whoops, excuse me. Uh, your teammate is watching this side of the map. You guys have bombed down on B use this little spot that I've used. Instead of, uh, the first thing they're gonna predict is someone being top rock. Don't send anybody top rock, send one person on this side of the map, and you can come right around over here on top of this a giant hunk of crap and chill out right on top of here. Chill right next to this little bush and you can watch this entire side of the map. I highly doubt they're ever gonna come from over there. If they do, they're weird, but um, you can just do this and you can watch this entire flank area and then you can watch to see if they come around through here. If they go top rock, they kill you. If they kill your teammate and then go top rock, you can easily look up here real quick and pick them up. All right, guys, this is a really good spot on B. If you want to get bombed down on B, get it down on the farthest corner on the front as possible. Now this works better if you know they're on this side of the map, on the far side over here, or if they're over on uh, the defensive side. So get it down on the farthest corner possible right there. And what you're going to do is you're pretty much going to go to A. You can do this a couple different ways. You can chill right behind this brick wall and jump up. Or you can do this. This is a much better spot. Chill behind these hay bales. Just look around. Highly doubt anyone's going to come over here if um, it's later in the bomb, uh, the bomb time. And you can just look right up here. You can just easily see the bomb from a distance. You can use your sniper maybe. Pick them up right off bomb. Really cool spot. Uh, it works. It works really well. Um, and then if you, if they're not even over there, just run over here and just spray them off, bomb, pick them up. It's a very simple spot. Um, 
I've had that used against me. It works. It works pretty well. This head glitch right here is actually a defensive head glitch for the defensive side. If they are ever um, coming out um, top church right here, there's uh, well, there's really two spots. There's uh, this side, and then there's over there. Um, but if you're on top church side and they are on the other house, uh, you can see right through this brick wall. Just jump up right there and see them top house, or you can look at a mid. See what they're gonna do. See if they're on the tank or whatnot. Very easy peek. Just jump up, bam, pop them right off there. Out of that window, and then there's another one right here. See these logs? Simply just get on top of the logs. Make sure you got your boost or whatever, and you can see it. Look at this head glitch. This head glitch is perfect. Um, people actually kind of do know about this spot. You can see if they're right there. You can just, bam, pick them right out of the top of the house. Um, whenever they go top house, they're most likely, their first instinct is to look top church. So from these two spots, uh, it's a little harder uh, for them to kill you. Uh, this spot, probably easier for them to kill you just because they can probably see the top of your head. I don't know for sure. But you can just, bam. Very simple. All right, I hope you guys all enjoyed this second episode of strats and spots, spots and strats, whatever. Uh, this was Infection. I hope you guys liked it. Definitely drop a like and hit the subscribe button for more of these. I will be doing tons and tons of tutorials to help you guys improve your game and help me improve, improve my game. Um, so drop a like for me if you guys want more content. I know the first episode uh, got a lot of good feedback and you got a lot of you really, really liked that. And I find that really awesome and I want to help you guys get better at all these maps and help me get better at all these maps. And uh, anyway... Thanks so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Hope, for, hope it was helpful. It's been your boy Reflex. I'll see you guys in the next one.